Hi, hello, welcome back, or welcome to my channel if you're new. If you are new, I'm Lucy, mum of four, professional juggler, only not really a juggler, because I'm not very good at juggling, but I juggle a lot and spin a lot of plates. Um, and on this channel I share all sorts of parenting content and content to do with our life as a family of six. If you aren't already subscribed, I'd love it if you would, so click that subscribe button down there if you haven't already. Today I am doing a very highly requested video. So I shared a video quite some time ago now, it's got to be well over a year I would have thought um, from when we first started to use cloth nappies. So that video was all about my experiences starting out, what our kit was, how we did it, that sort of thing and one of the overwhelming questions that I had in response to that video and that I still get um, in direct messages on Instagram is about what my wash schedule looks like because I think lots of people like the idea of moving across to cloth nappies but the wash schedule seems daunting and I think people are a bit worried or anxious about how they're going to handle the wash schedule. Let me start by saying there are six people that live in this house. We already create plenty of washing and I don't find that the cloth nappies make that any more complicated. Today I'm going to talk you through what my wash schedule for my cloth nappies looks like. The first thing you're going to need to consider is what you're going to store your dirty nappies in. I started out with a kind of fabric oil cloth type bag that I would just wedge them into and then on wash day I would just unzip the bag and put the whole bag into the wash. It's a very kind of hands off approach in that you basically once they're inside this bag you don't have to touch them once they're dirty. When I was using this bag system I was basically having to put nappies in the wash every day. That was at the point when I had a much smaller collection of nappies so I was washing nappies every single day to make sure I had them clean again but as my kind of stash grew um I found not only could I, was this bag kind of capping out and was completely full, but that I wasn't needing to wash every single day. So I needed a slightly different system. I got myself one of these buckets, the sort of garden plastic bucket. This is quite a small one and it comes with a lid. It's a bit of a misconception about you needing an airtight lid. Actually, you don't want an airtight lid because you need a little bit of air to circulate in there to stop it from smelling. Otherwise, what happens is when you take you've got a sealed one as soon as you take the lid off it's like noxious gas this is just more kind of it stops the kids accidentally chucking stuff in there but it's not kind of airtight it just kind of keeps it covered rather than sealed and that stops you from getting so much of the kind of smell which I think people are anxious about when they're thinking about doing cloth nappies and then all that happens when you take the nappy off is you put it in the bucket until you've got enough to put in the washing machine. Just for your own peace of mind, I'm going to demonstrate with completely clean nappies, but I hope it will show you that you don't really need to worry about the fact that the nappies might be dirty because it really is fine. So during the day we have Wilder in all-in-one style nappies, which as the name would suggest, it's all in one piece. Now what would happen is when I take the nappy tabs off as I'm taking it off of him, this piece stays dry. This is the kind of stay dry fabric. There's nothing dirty or yucky or icky about this. And you would open it up. Now we use a fleece liner inside our nappies because it helps to wick moisture away from the skin and it just feels a little bit drier and more comfortable. And if it was just a wet nappy, in all honesty, it's not gonna look very different to this clean one. The moisture will have been whipped through, it will all come into here. This piece, if you were to touch it, would feel damp, slightly damp. It's not gonna feel completely sodden unless you've got like a mega wetter on your hands. And Wilder is a mega wetter and they still don't feel like sodden. And then all that you need to remember to do once you've taken it off is to close the Velcro tabs again. There's two different ways you can do this. You can either, quite literally, fold them back where they came from or what I prefer to do is in much the same way as you would with a disposable nappy and you kind of ball it up almost I would roll it back into itself like you would with a disposable and then I you have to basically twist one of the velcro tabs this way and then you can stick the velcro tabs like that 
there's a double advantage to this not only does it make it kind of compact and tight to go in your wash bin but it also means that the velcro washes flat which means that i just think it helps to preserve the velcro for a bit longer and all that you do is you chuck that in the bucket now let's imagine with this other nice fresh clean nappy that we open this nappy to find a slightly stinky deposit i mean you can use your imaginations here people the advantage with using a fleece liner is that most of it is going to be on this liner and not on the nappy now what i do is that i would take this nappy with the tabs folded in it's my bathroom and then i would very carefully from the front piece pull this liner out and then tip the deposits down the toilet they normally in the most part kind of fall off of the fleece because the fleece wicks the moisture out and they kind of go a bit sort of thicker and lumpier and they fall off of that and normally the nappy comes through pretty much unscathed what i will do if it's a little bit yuckier is i will hold it over the toilet and i will use the shower attachment from above the shower to just hose anything off it doesn't need to be perfectly clean similarly if any kind of gets on the edges of the nappy i will do the same and i will rinse it down the toilet but like i said it doesn't need to be perfect as long as you get the majority of the solid deposits off and then much the same as with the previous nappy wrap it up chuck it in the wash what i tend to do is i might squeeze some of the excess water out but it will be still quite wet and it just goes in the bucket with the other types of nappy the only other thing that's worth noting is that at night time we have wilder in a two-part nappy which means that it's got a purely toweling um piece on the inside and then there's like a waterproof wrap that goes around it the wrap you literally take off you chuck straight in the wrap is just made of this waterproof type fabric that's on the outside of the all-in-ones and with this again when you take it off i find that in wilder's overnight nappies we never ever get poo they're always just wet but they're always very very well sodden so wilder's have um the normal boost that comes with the two-part nappy but then we put an additional booster in to boost them for overnight and you don't need to worry about separating any of it you literally undo the nappy wrap it up like you would a disposable and then like i said you can either fold the tabs in like this or you can do the twist and fold them on each other and again it all goes in the same bucket so far so uncomplicated and i hope that that makes sense so for me it depends on what my other washing looks like as to how i wash it i tend to find i differ in the summer and in the winter in the summer when i can get stuff dry a lot quicker because it goes on the washing line i tend to do a nappy and whites load one day and then a colored load the next day a nappy and whites load one day and a colored load the next day that just seems to work better in my setup i don't tend to have as many white clothes so i can use the whites to bulk up my nappy load and it means i'm washing nappies every other day so i've always got kind of a fresh clean stash so let's get into the nitty gritty of what you are actually gonna do with your nappies what i do first off is i will go downstairs with my bucket and i will literally empty the entire contents of the bucket into the washing machine i normally then give the bucket a wipe with some antibacterial spray and i give my hands a clean although i don't find the bucket particularly stinky just in the house i do find that when i open it it's a little bit gross and it has obviously had wee and poo sitting in it so you're going to want to give it a little bit of a wipe down and a clean and then i just literally wash the nappies on a very quick rinse no soap at this point on my machine i've got a quick 30 a quick 14 or like a 24 minute cycle and they're literally just a very very quick wash and all it does is it sloshes the nappies around it will get off any of those solid deposits that might still be on there and just give them a bit of a rinse before you put anything else in the machine with them the other bonus of doing that is it will unravel and open up your nappy so any that you put in like this will open up the boosters that are separate to your nappies will become separate in the wash what tends to happen is the tab in the nappies that folds back in on itself also comes out during this it just allows everything to open up so that it's going to wash better then once that quick rinse wash is over i fill my machine up with the rest of whatever my whitewash is if i haven't got whitewashing 
I normally chuck in towels or sheets or tea towels, just enough to kind of make the wash up. You need your washing machine to be at least over half full because otherwise there's not going to be enough in there to really agitate the nappies in the wash and that's a really important part is that while they're in the machine you need the nappies banging against lots of other things in the machine because that's what helps to wash them so you don't want to just be putting four nappies in the machine on their own because they're not going to clean up as well as if you'd made the load up with other things if i put other clothes in with my nappies i will make sure that I put it on about 40 but a nice long cycle my machine does a three and a half hour ish cycle at 40 degrees and i'll put it on that one with a really good dose of washing powder powder is important because if you use washing liquid it tends to coat the fibers which over time will make the nappies a little bit less absorbent so it's really important that you use washing powder not liquid every week to 10 days or so i will hold back my nappies so that i get a really nice full bucket of nappies and i will do them in a 60 degree wash again longest cycle that i possibly can and again i normally make that load up with sort of towels to make sure that the washing machine is sort of semi full and then once that really long nice warm soapy cycle is finished i do an additional rinse with no extra soap at the end it's really important to make sure that you have got all the soap out of the wash because it can affect absorbency over time and i just want to make sure that there's no build up of detergent on my nappy so they have that extra rinse and then this time of year i get them straight out on the washing line there is nothing more satisfying than a line full of nappies like drying in the breeze the advantage of getting them outside is if you have got any stains on them the sun is absolutely brilliant for lifting any of those stains out we've been using our nappies for well over a year now not a stain in sight. And then the final part of my washing cycle is when I've got a lovely load of clean nappies fresh in off of the line. What I then like to do is just sit and restuff them. Restuffing them is basically a case of pushing these long tabs back inside. I'll then put my fleece liners in place ready and then I have them all set up. Next time we need to do a nappy change, it's all there and it's basically ready to go for that nappy change. So the long tab, goes back inside the nappy like that and undo the tab so that it lies nice and flat tuck that bit in there and then the fleece liner lies on the top and then I fold it up ready to go so i hope that that helped to make sense of what my wash routine looks like with my cloth nappies obviously if you have any other questions do leave them in the comments and i will be happy to answer or pop over to my instagram account and you can drop me a dm i'll probably get back to you quicker over there if it's something that you need to know and answer to urgently this is my instagram account in case you don't follow already thank you for coming and spending a little bit of time with me today i hope you learned something new and that it was helpful and i hope you have a lovely day whatever you're doing with the rest of it i will see you for another video really soon bye